Dunge Bags, what's going on? It's Landon Remixes here, and abracadabra alakazam, it is time for a review of the sophomore album from Rez, Certain Kind of Magic. Rez is a Canadian DJ and producer, and one of the hottest up-and-comers in the world of electronic dance music, and come to think of it now, she's really not even an up-and-comer anymore at this point. She is literally one of the biggest artists in dance music right now. Although I definitely would have said Rez was an up-and-comer at the time of the release of her debut album, Mass Manipulation, last year, these days she's got an absolutely massive following. She's on the bill for just about every major EDM festival. Rez has moved long past being just a mousetrap artist to watch. In fact, she is the star of the label now. I mean, heck, I went to Paradiso this last summer and more people were scheduled to see Rez than Dead Mouse, which is absolute insanity. Now, I personally, for a long while, had a very hard time understanding the hype around Rez. A lot of you started requesting that I review her music after Something Wrong Here came out, but honestly, I just couldn't get into it. The super repetitive songs with very minimal structure and rhythm uh, just didn't really speak to me. When Mass Manipulation rolled around last year, I was willing to give it a listen, but I honestly was not really expecting a lot. But I ended up actually enjoying the the album quite a bit. In my opinion, Mass Manipulation was a pretty huge step forward from Something Wrong here. The tracklist was fairly diverse and well-rounded. Each song had its own defining characteristics that made it unique and memorable. There were a lot of great collaborators on that album that complemented Rez's signature style really nicely and also helped keep things interesting around every corner. Mass Manipulation was in pretty heavy rotation for me throughout the rest of 2017 and into this year year as well, so needless to say, I was really excited about Rez's next album. I've gotta say though, as the singles started rolling out from Certain Kind of Magic, I started to become less and less excited about the album. I was especially underwhelmed with Witching Hour, at least on my first couple listens. To me, it kind of sounded like a less compelling version of Diluted Brains, with a drop that kind of sounds like Rez scrolling through a bunch of different serum bass presets. I can't really say I was thrilled with Hex either upon its release. Not because I thought it was a particularly bad production or anything like that, it's just the more I listened to it, I guess the more disconnected I felt Rez and 1788L's sounds were on this song. Everything about the drop screams 1788L to me, and everything in the off drop screams res. It's just not really a healthy balance in my opinion. Hex actually reminded me a lot of 1788L's Rinsler remix, and I really don't think it was improved by that super generic res melody in the beginning. Though to get myself back on topic, it was actually after this single that I started to be really worried about the album. I actually voiced my concerns with the album to Connor from the Naughty Step channel after we filmed our review of Gasly's album, and I primarily mentioned how I was just fearful that Rez with Certain Kind of Magic was going to be pandering to her primarily bass head audience rather than maintaining that uniqueness that she's had for years. Though I'd say my worries were largely eased upon the release of Flying Octopus. Though I didn't necessarily think the song was fantastic by any stretch, it was just really refreshing to see Rez kind of go back to her signature sound after those first two singles. So I guess once again, I was struggling strongly anticipating the release of Certain Kind of Magic, and I suppose here we are. It's been a bit over a month since the album released. I've had a lot of time to kind of sit on this album and soak it in. I guess the main point that I'd have to start out on is that this album, for me, has not gotten increasingly better with every listen. I'll say I enjoyed Certain Kind of Magic a ton on my first couple listens, and come to think of it, that's probably because there's not a song on this album that I hate quite as much as Livid, but the the fact of the matter is that I just felt very middle of the road toward a lot of songs on this album. While, like I already said, there weren't any moments that I absolutely hated on this album, there also were only a select few that surprised me in a meaningful way or made my ears perk up. I think one of the really magic things about Mass Manipulation is that almost all the tracks were really memorable. But on this album, for example, Spider on the Moon, uh, I've listened to this album at least 10 times all the way through, and I could not tell you a single thing about the track. It was that 
forgettable for me. Flying Octopus, like I already mentioned, is a pretty run-of-the-mill res tune, and the Death Pact collaboration Life and Death, though I do think it's more of a standout than those two songs, um, kind of sounds like a mix of drugs from Mass Manipulation and the single that uh, Rez did with Reito, uh, Alien, and I feel like another thing that kind of negatively spans across this entire album is these super generic Rez style melodies. These melodies spanning across most of the album's tracks just have such a formula to them that my ears like literally tune them out. I'd say a good chunk of time on a certain kind of magic the drops are really the only compelling things about these songs, which I don't necessarily think is a great thing for Rez herself because over half of these songs are collaborations. That being said though, these collaborations really are what lifts this album out of the mud for me. Certain Kind of Magic features two of the key collaborators from Mass Manipulation, 13 and Kotek, as well as a few fresh faces, and I'd say the key one here being Fitch. Conveniently, my three favorite moments from Certain Kind of Magic are gathered here at the end of the album with these three collaborators. I was especially looking forward to Teleportal, considering that Rez's last collaboration with Kotek, Ascension, was by far one of my favorites on Mass Manipulation, and unsurprisingly, Teleportal is a sure standout from the album, and debatably even my favorite track. This is definitely the song on the album that wins the award for having the most real instruments in it. There's some electric guitar, I really enjoyed those big stadium rock drums going into the first drop, and actually after the first drop there's a little section that's very jazzy. You can hear an upright bass and some little cymbal fills. And honestly, I wish that these elements filled out the song a little bit more. I think it's definitely one of the highlights of the track. Maybe replace that lead synth with like a jazz piano. I think that could have been cool. But enough about that. Regardless, I do enjoy this track quite a bit, and I think it has undeniably one of the best drops on the album too. That synth bass is like a punch to the gut, and I also really love those little clicky fills that happen in between those stabs. It's also really great groovy and definitely makes me bob my head, which is one of the reasons I really enjoyed the crazy ones as well. The groove and the chemistry between the basses on the drop of this one is just absolutely insane. I also really love that high-pitched synth that's used during the drop. It reminds me of like an altered version of the uh, lead from Edge. The song's honestly pretty wacky as well, which made it really memorable for me. The uh, lead sound used in the intro actually reminds me a lot of that like infamous cat keyboard. Uh, and and then there's Toxin with Fitch, and I'd say this one is certainly a standout for me as well. It's not very often you hear like a res vocal track. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the last time that happened was um, the Laura Brem collaboration on Something Wrong Here. I'm pretty sure this is the first time Rez has ever had a man sing on one of her songs, and I'm pretty sure that Rez herself does the uh, background harmonies on this. I think more than anything, I was just really excited to see Fitch's name on this lineup of collaborators. I've run a few premieres for the guy. I think he's mega talented and definitely deserves the spotlight. I don't necessarily think this is his best work, but I do think it's really cool how Rez's sound and his brand of electronic R&B kind of blend together on this song. I think they actually work together in harmony pretty well. The song itself really isn't anything that compelling, but I think it does end the album off on a really great note, and it's one of the songs in the album that I can actually say surprised me in a positive way. There's not much more to this album. I mean, it's only eight tracks long, just like Mass Manipulation, and it actually clocks in at just five minutes longer than Something Wrong Here. But to defer from what I said earlier about Witching Hour, I actually do enjoy the track quite a bit more than I did initially. I think it's a fun little spooky novelty song. Not really much more than that, but it, you know, it's okay. And I truly do feel the same way that I initially did about Hex, though I would say it's a standout in the context of this album. I don't necessarily think it's an amazing song in its own right. And yeah, I think that's about everything that I wanted to say about this album. For a certain kind of magic, I'm personally feeling a strong 6 out of 10. If you guys haven't listened to this album for yourselves, I'm going to have the Spotify link down in the description below. And if you have listened to this album, make sure to let me know what you think down in the comment section. Anyway, I'm Landon Remixes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you do. And I'll catch you later. Peace.